North America and Europe are, particularly North America, are debating whether or not we can really make commitments to this new energy strategy and that climate change still has risks that we're uncertain about and we need to think this through carefully and we need some more studies and why don't we put some money into research and we'll think about doing something about this. That's a strategy that we can implement, but it's a strategy that has immense risks for North America and Europe. This is Shenzhen. This is a city in the uh, People's Republic of China that is across the bay from Hong Kong. And this is what the city looked like in 1980. There was about 80,000 people in 1980. Welcome to Shenzhen today. It's 12 million people, two New York cities built in 30 years. North America and Europe don't know <laughs> about change this fast. It was a complete mess as a city for the first 15 years or so of this build out. It invited in dirty industries of every kind. It paid subhuman wages. It had terrible environmental, it, 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 it enforced nothing on the environment. It was a terrible, terrible place. The government uh, raised a serious concern about all of this and said, how long can we make money? How long can we guarantee economic development to people if we go this route? And the government changed course in that 30-year period and went away from the dirty industry strategy and instead went toward the high-tech strategy. And it began to invite in both foreign investment and its own investment, significantly its own investment, to build instead this high-tech city instead of the low-tech, dirty industry-based city. And what is made in Shenzhen? Shenzhen is the location of solar electric uh, cell manufacture in China. In two years, two years, China went from nowhere in the manufacture of solar cells to the top manufacturer of solar, solar cells in the world. They continue, there is no one close to them right now in this regard. In two years, they did this. Wind technology was taken from Europe without much worry at all. The largest wind turbine manufacturer in the world now is China. <laughs> it's not in Shenzhen, it's in cities near Shenzhen, <laughs> but this entire complex is being built for this new strategy of development. I wouldn't say that the Chinese woke up and have been talking to folks in California about environment a lot that, that led to the planners changing their mind. It is that they saw an immense capability of taking over a market opportunity. In two years, they were able to just come in, go from 11% to 60%. The Japanese disappeared, okay, as a, a producer in this regard. And uh, now China and Shenzhen uh, are leading in this regard. Doesn't mean that China is not without its warts. It's building coal-fired power plants left and right. It has all sorts of problems uh, itself. I'm not trying to romanticize. What I am trying to say is that we are in a world where change occurs very fast, most particularly currently in Asia. I think what we are seeing in Asia today will be beat by Africa in another 15 years or so. It's going to be unbelievable. If Europe and North America decide to study the problem and figure out how to make changes on that basis, it is likely that they will, as they are now, continue to lose uh, in this uh, effort to figure out what will define uh, the 21st century. Uh, I don't know whether China will be able to really cap its CO2 emissions and will really be able to uh, keep them at 3.3. I really don't know, but what I would say <coughs> is that there is an awful lot of opportunity for making this happen but you got to get in the game in order to make it happen. You can't sit on the sidelines, as I think particularly North America and specifically the United States is doing. If we want to be part of the 21st century and we want to avert what is going to be a terrible uh, risk for our grandchildren and our great-grandchildren, we need to take a page from all of those uh, communities that have come up with innovative ideas, take a page from China, and try and figure out how to go in a new direction. Thank you very much.